Okay, take two. Let's try it again. I got the cam working. It's being a, a little asshole to me. But... Let's open the mist book. That was awfully small. Oh. I just have to watch that again. But this time in full scale. Okay. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. It seemed weird. I am here. And this game is still too loud. Let me turn it down. Even more. That's maybe okay. Okay, so this... Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh. oh. Did that just start to close automatically? Or was it because I clicked away? Okay, because I clicked away. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll go talk to this thing. Hmm. Let's go in the dark tunnel. Press the button. I press it again. Okay. Can I look at it? I can't like walk around in this space, so. Looks like there's supposed to be something like in these coves that I could look at. What is this? The dimensional imager. Topographical extrusion to wow, it's very low res. Water turbulent pod sixty seven. Mark, am I gonna need to take notes? Can I get my notebook? All right, I got my notebook. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take notes. You know? Am I crazy? Fuck it. Okay. Let's t let's write this down. I might need to remember this. Dimensional imager. Uh, oh, that's a lot of words. Big words. Topographical extrusion test. Is that 40? Water turbulent pod. Turbulent pod is what, 67? Marker switch diagram. I don't know what any of this is, but I feel like I will. Is 47. I only wrote four. Okay, 47. Okay, well maybe, just maybe, I will learn. 
Um, I mean, there's no input here, so maybe I'll come back, or maybe I'll find a reason for that to be what it is. Can I go up here? No. Uh, uh, I guess I'll look at the big gears. I remember these guys. Boom, 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 boom. Another lever. Hmm. Did I leave that other one up? You know what? Maybe... Oh, wow. Wait. Hold on. Oh, that's very nice. The detail. The, uh, the sort of the faraway shots include the position of the, the lever. That's good. I appreciate that. I didn't know if I could trust that as if it was like one single render that they did, but okay. So I'm going to put them up because I think default was down. So I'm just going to flip them all. I don't know what they're doing, but is that it? That's the only thing here. Uh, okay. Let's go this way then, as it is the only way left for me to go. Notes, Catherine. I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our forechamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve a message. Okay, marker switches. Is that what I was just doing? Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours truly... Truly, truly atrus. Okay, so should I be counting? Marker switches. Uh, marker switch diagram, 47. I wonder if that shows me where they all are on the island. The number of marker switches on the island into the imager to retrieve the message. Uh... Four chamber beside the dock. That's where that is. I see. Okay. Um, marker switches. Sure. So I've found two, and I see a third one there. Uh, I guess I'll just start tallying. Anything else in this that I need? No. Um, flip that bitch. I can only assume that these are the marker switches that it is referring to. Oh! <laughs> That's a fun way to animate a door. I'm gonna sit in it. Oh. 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 March, April, May, June, July. Okay. It does pause the music every time. What is 20? Oh, he's 14. What is this, the year? No. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, I can drag it. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, 48... Sure, I don't know. At 1 p.m. Let us look into the future. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, let me out now. Okay. Fucking never getting into that again. Boop. Oh, oh. I'm getting right back into it. It's nighttime. In the beautiful. Okay, well, it's clearly different. We'll have to take note of that. 
Um, nothing for me to really remember right now regarding that. Hello? Let me... So, some sort of a library of sorts. Oh! <laughs> I can just sit in the fireplace. That's cute. Can I, like, close it? What, can I do anything in here? Oh, there's a little button. Oh! Whoa! Okay, let me out. I don't like it in here. It's scary in here. Uh, okay. This zone is blinking. I assume I'm I'm here. Oh. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Dust this dusty old book off. Okay, nothing in here. Hello, Jordan. Or read something? A red page? Yeah, it's it's so hard to hear. Okay. That was probably important. Oh. Okay. What about this one? Does that close the way in, the entrance? Oh, it does. Interesting. Oh, there's a blue book, too. How did I not even realize this? Click on it, please. Thank you. I assume it's going to do the same thing. Can I... Put this in this one? Mm, no. Blue page and blue book. Okay. So if I find these pages, I should bring them here? Or am I going to find more of these pages? Okay. I need red pages and blue pages. I don't know if I'm going to get anything more out of that. Yeah, I know. I get it. Anything else?
Nope. Okay. I need blue pages and red pages. Let us go in here. In this tight, spooky little corridor. Turn around first. Nothing. Okay. I guess I'll get in the small box. So there's a key stair, a key ladder, and a book ladder. I want to go up this one. It's closed. Is there more up here? Can I... Okay. Anyway. Book ladder it is. Okay, never mind. I guess I will do neither. Power rotation. Does this influence that at all? Ugh. Wish it wasn't such a pain to go all the way back just to check this. So are those windows then? And it's turning sort of is how I'm imagining it. Well, I guess I'll do one more thing. Put it sort of back to its original position, I think. Oh. I have to hold it. That's it. One last try, and then maybe I'll just have to come back here another time. Mm, no. No, alright, whatever, I'll... I'll come back here. Another time! Okay, well, there's still plenty left to see. Plenty left to explore. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, nope, nope. This. No. This. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, I could go down there. I will in one second. Let's go this way first. Okay, another thingy. 
Flip. Can I go in? I want to go in the rocket. Hmm. I can't, like, touch this stuff. I must power it then, I assume, based on these lines. I don't... I don't think that this counts as a marker switch. I'm not going to count it. I'm sure I will need to go up there eventually. What are these things? Uh, snake. Heavy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, okay, let's, let's slow down, slow down here. I'm marked, uh, uh, I feel like I'm going to need to, what, there's four? There's a big well. Four on either side. Okay, so what, this one was an eye? This other one was a snake. What's this one? Spy that's not a spider, it's just some sort of a bug. That's maybe a, a spider with missing two legs. It's an awfully spider shaped. An anchor? A marker. Flip. What are you? A very detailed bird, comparatively. Oh boy. I didn't give myself a lot of room for these little squares. Just, what's gonna have to do? Is this. Okay. I figured I skipped one. So you is a beautiful leaf. And you are an arrow. <sighs> okay. And you are a big old well of the sunken ship by the dock. For some reason. Can I touch you? Can I do anything with you? I don't know if the direction you're pointing is important. Um, but we shall carry on. Am I going to start solving puzzles at some point? Or am I just going to keep gathering little bits of information forever and never really have a direct understanding of what I should be doing? Let's go in the crypt. The big scary cave chamber. Shmeep. I don't want to go. Let's not go in there. Okay. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh, this is like a generator. Oh. Let's turn it all on, baby. Oh, did I go too far? I bust out on the right side. Was it? Am I smoking crack? Was it not counting up on the right side? I thought it was. Am I crazy? Did I just hallucinate that? I must be smoking crack. Turn it all on, baby. Oh. Power to spaceship. So there's zero power to the spaceship. Maybe if I flip that switch over there, now while there's power running. Nope. Hmm. That's an arrow. One of those little icons was an arrow. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. 
I've turned on the power at least. There's a, one of the switches. Can I cross here? This is clo- oh, uh, fuck, it's one- a 120? I don't know, man. Uh... Don't know if that's important. If this is related to this. One... Oh, that's changing the clock. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to figure out a... Well, I did not need to mark down that fucking 120. <laughs> uh, I need to find a time, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Flip you. Another little switch. Hmm. I don't know yet. There's something behind the door here? Kind of looks like it. PSI. What? Can I, can I not do anything with this? Won't let me turn it. Hmm. Oh. Oh god, that's hard to tell. PSI is not... Is it getting louder? Or is it sort of capped out on volume? I think it's capped out. <laughs> oh boy, I cranked it too much. I don't know if I should have done that or not. Should I leave that open? Oh. So it wraps around here. Can I go this way? No. Uh, well... I've sort of looked at everything now. Um, marker switches. Seems like there was a one by the clock. I didn't mark down, but sort of figured there'd be more than that. Where do I even enter anything? There's no input here. What the fuck? 
a tiny little green button. Well, shit, okay. Uh, I'm trying to number of marker switches. It was, uh, what, eight, right? Did that do something? Oh! Yeah, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in the places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. Am I Catherine? But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Remember the tower rotation? The fuck is the tower rotation? Sort of was hoping he would tell me the tower rotation. Um... Let's do 40. What is this? The top extrusion? Or the topographical extrusion test? Okay, let's do, it was on 67, I think, that's the water thing, yeah, marker switch diagram is 47. Let's see that then. Okay, yeah, this is just to be extremely clear about what a marker switch is. It's this. Got it. This is, I think, stuff that I should have seen at the beginning. Okay, so what the fuck did he say to do? Oh god, I kind of want to watch that again. Uh, it's very loud, you say. It is very loud. It is true. Turn it down a little bit. access key. What's the access key? Is 
access key. Power rotation. Okay, <clears throat> I keep pulling my keyboard closer to me like I need to use it for this at all. Like I'm going to start walking around with Wazd. Okay, so there's eight marker switches. That's no longer relevant because I've used that item, that, that information. Uh, well, fucking now what? I don't have a date yet. Tr true. Um, our ship, our spaceship has still has no power. Can I like go? Root around down here? No. Uh. If I just start turning all these things green, what if I do that? I'll just turn them all on. Unless they're doing something. In which case. Hmm. Where do these represent stuff? Like this may be the docks, the arrow, maybe that, you know, this tower. I don't know what the bug and the bird and the snake would be, but they're all green now. Well, color me stumped. Aganar. This doesn't really do anything for me. What is this? Nothing. I look up. What if I need to get to a specific level of power? Hmm. Do I have any weird specific numbers yet? They do all do different powers. Hmm. We've got, what, 10 of these? So I will, I guess, try to remember these. And by remember, I mean write that shit down. What's this? Ten, seven, eight, sixteen, five, one, two, twenty-two, nineteen, nine. Hmm. I will probably have to get it to a specific number, but I just don't know what that might be yet. I don't have any direction, really, in that regard. What is this painting? 
strange, strange painting. I should probably go back to that tower rotation. I'm going to just turn this on. Because I don't know why else not, you know? We're going to see you later. going to let that gas start sort of filling up that cabin. And then in an hour I'll throw a match in there. It's been 25 minutes? Holy shit, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, that's the tower. What fucking rotation, though? Oh, it actually shows me all the stuff as I've sort of passed it now, at least. Like, I've unlocked it on the map. Um... Is being red... Is red good? Like, is that okay? I thought red was bad, but maybe maybe it's actually what I want. Maybe it's like a highlight, you know, it's highlighted. Let's try this tower again. Maybe it just means that it's looking at something. Because it was red on the gears and on the, in the library, I think. On the dock, maybe. That for the library. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. The gears. Okay. Sure. Wait. That way's not open, I guess. Right. Oh shit! Hold on. Two forty two two one. What the hell? Oh Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay. 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 Tower. Okay. Um. What's this? Gears. Two forty. Two forty two one. Interesting. Okay, okay. Interesting. Well, let's... Let's go through the motions here. So this is docks. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I did not give myself enough room for <laughs> for this. Uh, okay, so this is, is, okay, this is good, though. I can finally actually start doing shit with this. October 11th, 1984. 10.04 a.m. Then, January 17th. 1207 at 5:46 a.m. And then there is November 23rd 9791 
six fifty seven PM. Okay. Let's get more information. Back down we go. Let's see what's next. What was that other one? 240. 221. 240 I could probably do with um, that clock. I'm really kind of just worried about overshooting it because I. I don't have to go all the way back around. What is this? Uh, the cabin, I guess. Seven, two, four. Um, that is. Perhaps 221 or 724 are probably combinations for that safe. The places of protection. This is the cabin, though. What is this? Huh. The spaceship. Space ship. Fifty nine volts. Thank you. God, I'm finally getting information that I can use. Okay. Good, good, good. I think that that's the last one. But I feel like there should be more. <sighs> Double check everything. Gears. Nothing for this specifically. Something for this. Nothing for the cabin, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, it does. It kind of pauses a little bit on those, so you don't total. Oh, oh, that's actually really good to know. It gives you a little bit of a margin so you don't fuck it up and miss it. Check mark, use that. Um, use the tower rotation.
What is this anyway? Did I get anything for this? I'm just going to fill it in, even though I know it's not going to do anything, just in case it does. Okay. I'll have to come back to that. Okay, what first? Where am I going first? Uh, let's do the bolts, because I'm, cause I'm like certain of that one. I'm kind of not 100% certain of the other stuff. Right, I've got the... Uh, the cabin I could, I'm pretty sh certain of. Oh, and I've got the, the dates and times, too, I could do. Okay, well, let's hit 59 volts here. Let's see. Um, how can I get that? Fuck. Okay, 10. Uh, 32. 59. 19 gets me to 51. Do I have an 8? I uh, sure do. 59. Does that do anything for me? I don't know, but I'm on 59 volts. Let us go in here. Let's try this. Seven two four. Ooh, a little matchbox. Oh wait. Oh shit. I was lying about that. Uh oh. How do I strike it? I want to light this. Is it lit? Can I assume that it's lit, fam? Okay, I had to actually strike it on the box. That's fun. Fair enough. Is this going to explode and kill me? Wait, what did that... Did that just do something? Okay, it sounded like it did something, but I don't know what. Okay, yeah, yeah, big tree. I haven't been here yet. Wow, is that it, huh? The fuck was that? What is happening? On this godforsaken island. Oh, I can't look. Oh, the tree's getting higher. Right? Am I great? I'm going to sit here for a second. Holy shit, there's a door. I'm getting in, baby. Can't get back in now. Oh, it's going away. Oh, shit. If I... 
turn this off now. Oh my god, why did I crank it so much? Okay, it's off. If I go out... And I get in. And now it's going down. I'm a gamer. Oh, a page! I think. Or a book or something. This seems like a place of protection if I've ever seen one. <sighs> okay, so there's like a jungle world, I guess. I'm going to eat a piece of candy while I'm looking at this. Don't warp me there. I don't want to be there right now. No, I want to go back. Oh, damn it. I wasn't done. Oh, shit. How do I get back? Oh, gods be damned. Oh, this is just a maze. Oh, God, I don't want to be here right now. I wanted to... I wanted to look at the star thing, dude. What even is any of this? Ugh. Oh, right when I was finally getting somewhere. Is that where it spawned? I don't fucking know. What am I? Where am I? Send the water this way then. <clears throat> I don't know what the difference is here. Back this way. Seems to be working now, maybe. There we go. Okay. Up top now. I'm getting so lost very easily with how the camera works in this.
Dude, where the fuck am I going? What is that? That. I'm gonna get to that big box there. I don't think that I can. Is there anything here? Where in the hell am I? I just want to take the stairs. How do I get back to the way down? I don't know. That or this? Do they all look the same? Oh, get me the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Okay. What else can I power? That's fucked. That was broken. So I guess I can't power that one. Is this the only thing I can send water to? No. What is this? I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, little bridge. Of course. Little bridge. Scoping pipe. I thought it was broken. Okay. Let me go back. Send water over yonder. Okay, that's good. Oh god, I'm lost again. This way. Oh god. I keep... Uh, uh, I keep getting disoriented. This way. This. Oh, fuck. I gotta go the other way around, though. Uh, uh, this game made me dizzy, man. Excuse me? No. Mm. 
Okay, I must be missing one then. I'm so disoriented. This is right. Is that wrong? Is that the one that was wrong? Oh, this also. I think that that's good now. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> A book. Let me out. Please take me home. Is there anything else in here? What the fuck is this? Oh, I'm back. Can I... Is this important? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, shit. What was I doing? What was the point of that? Why did I go there? Did I get anything? There's other shit there that I didn't finish, right? I don't know, man. Okay. Uh, let's do some dates, shall we? That's... This. Lights out. Okay, first and foremost, let us... Do... I don't know. Fuck. Let's do the first one, October. October 11th, 1984. At 10.04 a.m. This shape is significant. This like constellation. Next one, January 17th. At, I'm sorry, 12.07. At, 5.46 a.m. Give myself enough room yet again. I need to just be bigger. <laughs> I keep drawing too small. Okay. Yeah. 
Shit, I need my white out. Fuck that up. Okay, and then last but not least, November. Twenty-third, ninety-seven, ninety-one. Deep, deep, deep into the future. At six fifty-seven p.m. That's a complex one. Okay, what I do with these, who the fuck knows? Do these all just have like random looking things? Oh, they do. Interesting. Oh boy. Okay. I've still got that 240. With the 221 that I don't know what to do with. Let's try the 240 on this clock. That's the minute hand. Forty. Two. Okay, there we go. Let's flip that. That should be all the markers flipped. Okay, so I've used 240. Still not 220. Oh, well, probably this, huh? If I was to go ahead and guess. Oh, fuck this. What the fuck? How does this... What? Is it two two one? How does this work? Okay, okay, okay. I Shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay, this... If I do that... Two, two, one. How oh, in God's green earth am I supposed to do that? Wait, what? I thought this one did the bottom too. Oh, this one does the top. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. What? I could just pick. I could just do one. Wait, what? Uh, 
if I hold it, it just as the middle one. Oh, that's groundbreaking. Uh, well, fuck. Hop to. Um. Oh, shit. Damn it. I had it in a way that I think that I could have done that before. Shit. Oh, how did I do that before? Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. There we go. Hands off. I did that on accident. I don't know how that worked, but... Okay, gear kind of looking funny-like. So maybe that means big, big, big gear far away on other side of island looking funny like now. You know, maybe. It sure is. A little secret passageway. Oh, another book, dude. Damn it. Okay, mark my 221 of used now. It's always good to just... Shit that you've got a big notebook full of. Bunch of info. This is, this game is just a big escape room, all right? If you've used it once, you're probably not going to use it again. You don't know that for sure. But I'm marking everything as I use it so I know that I've used it and that I probably, you know, if I'm looking through here and I see this later, I'm like, "What the fuck was this 221?" You know, I'll be like, "Okay, I've used it. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to think about it." Anything without a check mark next to it, something that maybe I still have to be thinking about. Okay, take me to this other realm of death and despair. Another book. The Mist Books. <sighs> the Gear Realm. Oh, I was in the Tree Realm in the Tree Book, and now I'm in the Gear Realm with the Gear Book. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, oh boy. Okay. We need a lot of symbols. I'm sorry, what? What's that? It's nothing. I'm hallucinating. That music kind of freaked me out because I thought it was distant running footsteps. I was kind of scared. I'm in the torture room. What the fuck? I'm gonna sit in the torture chair. Shit. Uh, the monkey face, dude. Bro, there's a fucking monkey on the wall, dude. Cutscene. Fortress rotation simulator calibrating. Okay. What? Oh. Oh shit. Got through the whole damn thing again.
Okay. I don't know if that did anything at all, but... Okay. I don't know if that's important or if they were just having fun with that, but... Snake. first I will go back in there there's probably something in there spaceship uh, sea ship missing some sort of ship in the middle Okay, small little artifacts. <laughs> Bird. Chess board box. Sit in my big throne. I relax in my boring fucking room. Is that the topographical map thing? Okay, let's look at this. What the fuck is in here? Oh, literally nothing. What is this thing? Okay, let's go downstairs. Was it? Why did it like continue to move after I did it? I'm just trapped. Stuck in the middle with you. The spooky, the spooky dungeon. Okay, didn't like that. Ooh. 
chirped five times. I don't know if that's important. <sighs> Pepper grinder on the wall. I want to go down again. Bro, what do you mean, no? Just skip the middle spot if I do that. Okay, so what is the purpose? How do I turn it while I'm in it? How do I look out this middle window space while I'm inside? Excuse me. It kind of kept turning a little bit. There's just obviously no way I could get up there in, in this tiny amount of time where it is turning just for a second after I let go of it. Oof. Ah. There's just no way. Oh, it doesn't even let me back out anyway. Wait, right? No, it doesn't let me back out until it's finished turning anyway. I want to turn it while I'm in it. Hmm. Oh, wait. The fucking... What about, um... What about this? It's just a simulator though, I don't know if it... Is it actually turning the fortress? I don't understand. Dude, I didn't even click out of it. I clicked on the lever. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a window, but it's covered. I see. I'm sorry, where the fuck? Okay, this. So I need to maybe just actually rotate the fortress, but I don't particularly know how. Because there's this fucking other zone over there. Is this rotating the whole fortress when I turn this? Uh, 
Let me out, please. No, it's not. Okay. Right? I mean, no. Definitely is not. I don't understand why this doesn't... They just all have different little sound effects. Oh my god, it takes so long to turn on every time. <laughs> Is there supposed to be like a like a confirm button? I don't know. I simply do not know. I'll be honest, I think I'm stumped. I wish I could, like, step around in this space. Oh, what the fuck is up here? Can I... Can I get up to this? These levers up top? How do I get up to that? That looks like a... The two fortress spinning guys. What? <laughs> Fucking what? Let me out, let me out, let me out. Can't. Yeah. Oh, oh, it, oh, okay, it's on a timer. That's the five seconds. 
Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're making progress. Oh god, okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, I can't even look up now. Oh Jesus, okay. Am I gonna hear the sound? I do, okay. I don't even know where I want to go. It doesn't matter which one I go to. We'll turn it all the way around. We'll do a 180. Okay. Where am I now? I kind of did want to go here, but I forgot. <gasps> Excuse me, but that's okay. Lots of stairs. Getting to work out here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This is good. This is good. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. These are the first two, I assume, based on their alignment on this board. Okay. Nothing else here? Let's spin this... Oh, what's all this? Look at that up top. Is that just decor? I guess so. so. Yeah, let's get on with it. These big juicy hamburgers in front of me are making me hungry. Okay, so what I want is this sound. That Five ticks. Okay. That one. Okay. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Is there anything even on that fourth direction? Was it just a big empty zone? What the fuck? Was this always messy like this? Am I... Was there always so much shit on the ground? Still a lot of weird little things around, like, like what's all this shit? What's with the little box that I can look at?
What the fuck did I just do? What? I'm sorry. What? Wait, what was that? How did I just do that? Me out. How did I... It was just purely an accident. I just accidentally clicked on that spot. Oh, Christ, this... Cirrus. Oh, I spelled his name wrong. I just spelled it like Cyrus in my notes. Cirrus, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax. And you know they'll listen to me. The and is very interesting. Regards. Akinar. Akinar? It's also not how I spelled that. Sort of like I pronounced it like there was a G in it. So it seems like Sirius is the greedy one. Um, and this looks so much like a puzzle. This wine bottle layout. I just, I have to take a screenshot. I just feel like I'm obligated to. Just in case. I usually don't like taking screenshots. Instead, just like taking my own notes, but... I'm just like not 100% convinced that that's important, so I'm not going to waste my time. Okay, interesting. Maybe just like a secret bit of lore. A little, hmm, interesting. Cirrus seems to be awfully greedy, perhaps. Is there one? Surely there's not one here, right? Oh, the shit, there is. Yeah, perhaps it's best we keep that closed. A blue page! Ooh. I have to fucking carry this all the way back? It's just gonna be on my hand the whole time? It's, it's, it buzzes after I let go with my mouse, which is, I think, why I keep doing it. Because it was kind of weirding me out. Okay. Well, I've got a blue page in hand. I wonder if I missed anything on that first one. The tree zone. Just holding this page out in front of me. Where am I going? Okay. The other two schmimbles. The other two thimbles. This and uh, this. Let us head home, shall we? Uh, although I'm actually curious if there's something on that additional island or quarter. Fucking, oh boy. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait, can I? I'll have to try that too. <laughs> Can I do this timer thing at the bottom? And have it go up? Is there anything underneath it, I wonder?
Okay, I did not check what sound I'm looking for. I think that's the top. I think that's what I'm looking for. Unless I fucked up and just went all the way back. Okay, let's get a little crazy here. Let's see what happens. Oh! Okay, no timer in the, on the bottom. Got it. Forgot about that. Don't know if I am on the right stop. I sure am. It is awfully peaceful out here. You know, I have not been looking out this telescope each time. What was that? This other one. I just I I have to wonder if I'm missing something with the with the the telescope. I should have been checking it at every position. I'm kind of debating on how lazy I am. Do I reset it to every fucking position and check the telescope? It takes so much time. Boom 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 boom. That's home, I think. That's to the right. Alright, let's just... Let's just see. Let's see. I'll check the telescope here. I want to be thorough. Like Henry David. Oh my god, dude. Nothing. I don't think I'm going to be so thorough as to check the third of the positions I'll be honest I'm just gonna go home just wrap it up huh dum, dum, bum, 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 bum. Top, left, bottom. Okay. Wait. Go back. 
Did I like look at this again? Okay, that's just where the book was. Okay. What do I got? This. 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 We done gone and did it. One book. Nothing else in here. Take me home! I sort of have a sneaking suspicion that I was supposed to have found a page in that forest. Hmm. I will have my retribution. Please forgive me. Ages. 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 So. I guess this is Cirrus? And Akinar is the red one? They're both trapped in the books. Do I have to actually make a decision? Like, am I going to choose to not bring specific pages? Or am I just sort of, I'm just going to get them all and see how the story goes? Surely this game doesn't have multiple endings, right? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I got the one in gears. It's blue. Forest. I did not get. I, you know, assuming that there is one in each of these. This is like a hub world I'm kind of in right now. Sort of, to some degree. What did I get in here? I don't remember. Oh, I opened the gear. That's right. How do I... free the spaceship? How do I send that power? I don't really know what else to do now. Boom, 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 boom. What was up here? I don't like the info pages stuff with the tower rotation. I don't know that I need to do that anymore. I got those constellation images. I wonder if they're different with the lights on. I didn't think about that. Let's go to... Um, let's do the first one again, I guess. October 11th. 1984. 
10.04 a.m. Okay, let's back out. Hit the lights. See if it... Yeah, okay, you just can't see shit. Okay. Good to know. What the hell are you doing in my car, Alex the Lion? Alex the Lion? What the hell are you doing in my car? The docks was the dates. It was looking at the boat for those when it gave me those in the tower. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Ugh, do I have to go back to the fucking tree? What are the marker switches to? Oh, is that like unlocking them on my map? Is that what that was? Oh, that makes plenty of sense now. Oh. It's already hot. Really gotta go crazy with this thing. Oh, this is the image of the tree, I see. Yes, is up now. What if I just get in this and follow it like way up high?
It's gonna take fucking ages though. this do? Is it going to keep going? Oh, well. Well, let's take a little ride for a little bit, huh? Let's see where we go. See if I die. Taking a while. Can I just like dive out of this? Is that it? I think it has peaked. Oh, I can look down. Well, now I kind of want to watch it go all the way up from the outside. I didn't count how many it took to get to the top. So far, nothing in the bottom. Mm, that feels like it. Okay. I guess that's nothing. Now I have to... Dreadfully... Crank this thing all the way back. Get running.
I don't want to go back, man. Need to find the page here. Is everything I did here like wiped? It's so disorienting. Uh, no, my bridge is still up. Okay. <gasps> so this just took me out, right? Now, where the hell might the page be? Probably up in that extremely confusing maze up top. With something to do with... Uh... The stuff at this windmill. Excuse me. Oh, you know what? I can do this. I forgot, I didn't do this. Oh, it's still locked, though. But the thing up top is probably working now. Hmm, but how do I get up top if this thing, then, isn't working? Hmm. Oh my god, I can go out back? Oh. This doesn't actually help me at all. There's two pipes here. Can I go this way? Okay, well I don't... I guess I don't understand why I can go out back there. This tree texture changes when I get closer to it. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Um. I guess let's go back up the normal way real quick. Boy.
Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. trying as hard as I can to like hyper focus on my surroundings and how how I'm moving through space so they don't get so disoriented this time this is a good page I'm uh, better understanding how the controls are working up here like where I need to click to move in what direction. I just wish there were maybe like a couple more stages of movement between some of these things. Is there really nothing I can do here? How do I get this? This is my big conundrum right now, basically, is how I get this powered from below, I guess. While also, like, using it. Because I don't, there's not really anything else for me to fiddle with here. God, I really wish I could look around more. Can I open this stairway up? I just have absolutely no idea what the function of these two bits are.
Uh, hold on. It's the wrong way. Am I missing like a key or something to the staircase? Just like a thing. Should I be looking more carefully at stuff up here? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. It is very disorienting up here. How did I get back here? There's like this big, like this. Like, I don't know what this is.
think there's nothing here. What the fuck is this? How did I never stumble into this? I was just trying to leave. I was just about to go back. Okay, well, okay. Alright, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay make any sense okay staircase okay let's slow down just look at everything when you're going okay so now I can do this go up okay see I thought thought it went down I thought it was just at the top okay Closed. No, it's not. Okay. Fucking okay, okay. Oh, it's gonna play it again. looks dangerous. I want to put something in that. There's three masks in here? Yeah, okay. They've got electricity. They got a light bulb. This door is interactable. Blue page, let's go. It's the same one.
Anyone know what this guy's saying? Hmm. Oh, was that Aganar? Or I think so. Interesting. Should I leave? I got the page. Did I go this way? No, I didn't. Signs of a struggle. Oh shit, only one pay. Oh! Hmm. Do I get a red page or a blue page? I'll probably go get the blue page. Just because I already got one. Is there a red page and a blue page everywhere? Did I miss a red page at the, at the gear zone? Hmm. I wonder what I would have taken first if I found both of these earlier. Would I have come back for the other one? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm locked into one route, though, now. I kind of just want to get the blues. Oh, stairs. Thank God. Alrighty. Still don't know what that shit is up in here. <laughs> Does it stop the windmill from moving when I hold that down? What the fuck was that? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, right. It's the other way. the other other way dum, bum, 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 bum. oh fuck forgot about the water
Who's this? Interesting. It's a lot of shit that I don't know if it does anything. I don't know if it's important. Dude, I don't know if the fuck anything. Where did I fuck? Bum, 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 bum. It should be going. Oh. That's not right either. Dude, I wish I could just fucking look around like normal. Oh, it's so hard to like look at things. It's this way, okay. What is this one? Is that where I came in? Is that like the default? I don't remember anymore. Let me out. Um. A new page for the blue book. Okay, mixed it up. This guy's Aggron. Oh! Okay. There's fucking books here in the bookshelf. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. It has been a while since I have heard only silence, and I enjoy it greatly. I think for some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful. 
I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I'm standing, I can see green fields below, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I'm standing, yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, in, and the sky is sparkled with white cla clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze a hot breeze perhaps the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north hotter than i would have imagined it almost singes my skin and i feel quite uncomfortable when it comes i will try to ignore it night has almost arrived and the sunset is spectacular oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon though night has come the horizon still glows red long past the sunset Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again, the, fe the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have had to, to return home due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the grand, oh, in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky, and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a mist-linking book with me when I return, in case the one I left there has been destroyed or damaged. Okay, so what was this? It's sort of smudgy blue... Oh shit, there's even more. Oh my god, there's so much! Holy shit. Oh my god, there's so... Okay, this is a full-ass book. I've returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land, with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has turned a, into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the, f the jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears, and I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night, I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly, the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I've decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. There's a little drawing. Even the chasm, even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of, of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created, and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again to see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Akinar, and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I've returned with some of the complete tools I, I knew I would be needing. 
I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials. However, it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set, and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I hope... Blah, 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 smudged. Blah, 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 well, and I have decided... Seem it could be a compass. A satellite. Three meteors is not enough support for... Sort of watercolor drawings. Amazingly strong. The spaceship! Maybe that's where the spaceship world takes me be one of my most prized inventions I'm extreme could never have imagined to have it come together I doubt like could possibly work with 14 instead of completely fatigued I am so happy to tomorrow I'm leaving today in order to bring back Cirrus and Agonar I have left them alone in Channelwood I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here the age seems to have stabilized I believe the meteors set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust, but the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many, my, many of my questions can be answered in another age, which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take part pride in my accomplishments. And there's a piano? Okay, hold on. Five, one, four, two, three. Hmm. <laughs> Let me just copy this down. Actually, oh, so much to copy down. I'm trying the entire piano. Why? I do not know. I just feel the when when they start putting numbers on things and highlighting things. That's when I'm like, okay, this is going to be important. I need this information. This seems to be like a password of keys that I have to press in the right order on a keyboard. Benja Kanata. I started at the top of the page. Holy shit. I never realized pianos, the um, the black keys, were in 3 2 3 2 3 2. You know, groups.
believe that is about done. This one's number one. And this one's number five. I don't know the name of this realm, though, that we're in here. Oh, cool map, though. That's the jutting rock out of that lake that was made. Okay. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Quite a few... Oh, oh wow. Okay, I can click on... Oh, fucking hell. Wow, there's so much shit in here that I just... Burnt book. Gear. Okay, hold on. Wait, gear. Okay, this is the Channelwood one. That's kind of what I wanted. Because I was... I assume I'm just in Channelwood. Based on this name, really. I wish I knew the name to this one, though. Well, this H Channelwood. Did he name this? Did I miss... Did I just miss that? Hmm. Let me do this. Oh, fuck it now. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by six. And there's two of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm taking so many goddamn notes. Damn, they really just like you you'd need to take notes for this. Especially way back when when this came out, you couldn't just like take screenshots really very easily. Or photos. I bet there's some really cool, super old journals with, like, people's playthrough notes in them. Oh, shit, I fucked that up. Down from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one's done. And number two is something like this. Three, four. Set four across here. Four up. This just is like a silly crossword puzzle. It's like a wordscapes. Okay. There's those.
There's my piano. Oh no, there's mo- Oh no! How many are there? I should have tried to turn the page before I spent 10 minutes drawing those. Does this even line up with this? Is this different? Fucking... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is the same size. I guess I might as well punch one in. Let's just do number one, right? Why not? Okay, so it's not number one. Okay, we'll try number two. It's not gonna be number two, I'll tell you that. not number two either. Okay. Let's, um... Maybe... Okay, which one was Channelwood? This is Channelwood. Okay. I've called this age Channelwood, and it's a very different world. Though it is exactly how I imagined it, it is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. Water covers this age as far as I can see, except for a small, rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees, which grow directly out of the water. A myriad of thin, wooden passageways are built just above the water and disappear into the forest. I assume they were built, by, built some time ago, for they appear aged. I am eager to discover more about this land and its people, but I have arrived here late, and I must rest. I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to one on which I had slept. I saw a group of monkey-like people heading in my direction. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. Their response to me was one... Oh, they had not seen me. Um, <clears throat> their response to me was one that I would have never expected. After staring at me for a short time, they fell to their knees and began what appeared to be some sort of ceremonial worship. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below us were changing colors. Slowly, subtly, they would change from deep blue to muddy orange, then from muddy orange to beautifully clear. I was so intrigued by the water, I had hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. Climbing the ladder led us to their village, 
which is about 10 meters above the water and can only be reached by rope ladders that stretch from the lower paths to the village level, approximately halfway up to the grand trees. It is very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Even after watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what they were doing. At sunset, they, met, they motioned for me to follow them. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once inside, I found that the hut appeared even larger than it had from the outside. The walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. At least he appeared to be their leader, for he sat a meter off the floor in a thick throne. Guards surrounded the strong creature, who was dressed in many exotic, colorful fabrics. Next to the leader sat a very old human, at least to some extent he appears human. His hair, which was only on his face and head, was completely gray, almost white, and hung very long around his frail body. His thin head hung limply by an almost grotesque neck that could not hold it up to look at me. But what a surprise, this creature could speak my language. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked to be telling me to go to sleep. I look forward to learning more. As I suspected, the ancient creature is a human, but he is old beyond his own reckoning. He seems almost insane. However, the tree dwellers almost revere him as a god. They are treating me now in the same fashion, which makes me feel very uncomfortable. It is almost impossible to understand this old man. His voice is feeble but wild. He has adopted much of the language of the tree dwellers. He himself told me that he had not spoken our own tongue in ages. He attempted to explain to me the history of this place. The following is my best translation of what he's told me. Many years ago, the humans and tree dwellers lived together in this place, which was then a vast island. They interacted very little. The humans dwelt on the ground, and the tree dwellers lived high above. Occasionally, the island was disturbed by mysterious rumblings, which happened randomly, some sort of tectonic or volcanic action, I suspect. The sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop, allowing everything to return to normal. One day things changed. The rumbling began and grew quickly to unprecedented levels. Soon it became apparent that the entire island was sinking slowly into the ocean around them. Many of the humans died that day, but not before sacrificing themselves in order to stop the sinking of the island. The humans who lived through this catastrophe moved into the trees where they gradually died out. Maybe because they were unequipped for such an environment, but I'm not sure. This is the story the old man communicated to me, although many details are very unclear in my mind. I'm especially confused as to how the humans saved the island from completely sinking. In fact, I doubt the accuracy of that part of the story. The island must have stopped on its own. Yet the old man believes in the truth of the story as if he had been there. And the tree dwellers worship him, and apparently all humans, as if he they were heroes or gods. The old man ended our conversation today with an event which I will never forget. He began gripping my hands tightly, murmuring something about rest and asleep. He then said, We had expected you to come sooner. These actions filled me with some sort of immediate dread. With much effort, he stood to his feet. I tried to help, but he pushed me away with more force than I imagined his frail body contained. The tree dwellers quietly surrounded him with very solemn faces. They then kneeled before him. He walked to each and placed his hand on their heads. All the while, he murmured words which I did not understand. Finally, he turned to me and smiled. Then he closed his eyes, walked out the door, and off of the narrow path high in the trees. The tree dwellers were silent. They began a procession down the nearest rope ladder. As I was descending, I saw several of them pick up the body. He had fallen onto a lower level of the walkway and carried it away. He was laying down at the dead end of the short pier-like structure. With the use of some potion, one of the tree creatures lit the pier on fire, and I watched as the flames engulfed him. As this strange funeral proceeded, the waters around the pier changed to dull green. The morning I awake, sorry, this morning I awoke, finding it hard to even believe the previous evening's events. The water is a dull green for as far as I can see now. For some reason, the water no longer shifts color. As I wander throughout the pathways, the creatures watch me, curious to see what I will do next. They are constantly offering me strange objects of affection. I even found food outside the doorway to the room in which I had slept. 
This is a unique race of beings. I hope to learn their language soon so that I may learn more from them. I have lived on this world for three months, off and on. Oh, this is... Is this my blue page that I got? Oh, interesting. I've lived on this world, off and on, for three months, and the tree dwellers are, have shown great hospitality. I'm even beginning to learn bits of their language. I've decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and my sons, and hopefully return with them. However, I'm sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age would be a wonderful experience for them all, and I at least look forward to how Cirrus and Akinar will react to its curious inhabitants. Catherine is staying behind as expected. My sons have returned with me, and they enjoy this age very much. They get along very well with the tree dwellers and are picking up their language surprisingly fast. I have no doubt that it will be not too long until they can speak with the tree dwellers much better than myself. I am leaving tomorrow to check on the Os on the Osmoian age. Cyrus had suggested I allow him and his brother to stay, though the idea unsettles me. I know the boys are growing up rapidly. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I could think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while, so I will consent to their request. I warned the boys not to take advantage of the respect the tree dwellers have for their ideas. They seem to understand my warning, and I have faith they will follow it. Much to my dismay, upon arriving in Everdunes, Everdunes. Okay, that's the other. That's the desert zone, right? Everdunes. I learned that Pran and her people are continuing to be menaced by the Choctaw. I fear for their survival and plan on returning to her shortly after checking on Cirrus and Akinar here. See Everdune's journal for more information. After watching Cirrus and Akinar, I see they are handling things very well, and I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channelwood again. And for a little longer time. Oh, I've got red words too. I didn't get any red pages though. Interesting. Is this their writing then? Cirrus and Akinar? No, I, I don't know. The tree dwellers seem slightly distressed that I'm leaving, but are happy that Cirrus and Akinar are staying behind again. I've been gone for over three days, and have been to many different places. I had to tell Cirrus and Akinar about Pran's death today, and they were visibly shaken. Although they... It's much harder to read this font. Although they only remembered her from their childhood, Catherine has suggested that it would be wise for Cirrus and Akinar to leave Channelwood for a while. And I have to agree, they will be returning with me when I leave again. I've told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. They spent their entire night telling me of it, an adventure they experienced in my absence, and it was rather remarkable. It seems they constructed a boat with these creatures and traveled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I enjoy hearing them talk excitedly of their adventures, and am reminded of my own adventures as a child. I finally understand why the tree dwellers have been giving me their... Many inks. Oh, I see. He's writing in different inks. Giving me their many inks and insisting I write with them. Looking through some of my past entries, I see now that the inks have changed from the black, I thought they were, to various different colors. I have shown some of the creatures my journal, and they laughed and howled. I did not know they had such a sense of humor. Even now, as I look through this very colorful journal, I cannot help but laugh myself. This is... that's cute. That's good. We will be returning tomorrow, though my sons are with the creatures for the last night here. They have told me they would like to come to Channelwood again, and also asked if they can visit some other ages alone, though I will have to think over their request. I believe they have proven to me that they can be trustworthy and responsible. Catherine will also have to help me decide whether they are ready for travel alone. For now, I must give my farewells to the creatures for I do not know how long it will be until I visit this age again. Uh, okay, so this 
this definitely shows um, that connection there to that elevator that I couldn't find for a, a bit. Really learn what I wanted to learn here, though. <laughs> I'm going to mark this map down, even though I don't think that I need it anymore. Having sort of blindly stumbled my way through there somehow. But it might be nice to have. I might need to go back. I suspect that I probably will. That's not right. Um, I don't know which one is the one that I come up on, though. There's no clear mark there. Maybe it's this one? This sort of darker one? So this green one is channel wood. Green book top. The rocks. Emmett was the first to live on the... How many pages? Oh, Christ. God, I want to read it, though. Hope you like listening to me reading, Jordan. Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This was where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks, as it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. 
Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he'd lived on, on the, lar the, on the largest rock. Soon Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in their world, and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A late, sorry, a light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least, that is the story I was told when I arrived today on the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not too strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand, not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to, to me by my father. I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoy it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks in the course of my observations. Oh, in the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. It's a lamp. Submersible lamp. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also, during the night, I catch glimmers of the light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on a far-off island. Or by or rocks. I should very much like to discover which. I rather suspect it is additional people, which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the blunt, the, th the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen until here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the horizon it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source, if they have the means. I returned with many tools that I will need for construction. I have decided that once the lighthouse is complete, I will leave for some time to let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now, and are making great progress. The rock that we're building on seems to be as secure as I would like. I've had to alter my plans slightly, but those alterations pose no real problems. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I, will, I estimate the construction will be done within two days. The lighthouse is finished, and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from the boys are amazed at the structure wrought from oh wrought from rock god sometimes it looks like there's a period when there's not with the pixels wrought from the rocks with their own hands that evening we powered up the generator much to the boys dread at first and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours i stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without being without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew i had become accustomed to it was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. 
Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave this age. I've set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art. That will have more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. Stone Ship Age. Oh, there's more. Bird's eye view. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like little electrical connections, perhaps, from this, from these two buildings. I assume this big round thing is the lighthouse. <clears throat> okay, more reading. I think of it this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open someday in the future, only discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. It's been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. 
They're all very content and have been serving me with new food and showing me new materials they've discovered. It even seems they've found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they've tried their best to keep it so. Yet I have noted that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. Constellations. Okay, there's that anchor symbol. <laughs> Oh! Is that one that I marked down? I don't think so, no. But, these constellations that I had already written, I could see them lining up with some of those symbols out there. Like this one. Oh, is there more? Oh, God, there are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, so I... I see. Those ones that I took note of, I should... do something with out there. I should probably light up those only. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my leap. The bug. the snake, I think. That seems right. I missed one of the dots, I think, but that's fine. Okay, so... Uh, what is this one? The middle blue? Two, top, uh, top blue. Two up top. Okay, let's punch in those constellations, see what happens. Oops. Oh, I have to save. Like, <laughs> save. I haven't just ever saved, I realized just then. Um, uh, this was the leaf? No. Shit, hold on, I gotta turn them all off. Leaf on. Cross off. Arrow off. Anchor off. Or maybe anchor on? No, no, anchor off. That was just. Um, bug? Oh. Bug. Snake. 
your eye off. And just one single moment before I go look at that. It be floating now. Does that mean the one over there is floating now? It sure is. Right? Was it I'm sorry, was this always floating? It sure wasn't. Little door. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. I will come back to this. That probably takes me to the rocks then, right? If I was to guess. Oh boy. Gears. Okay. More notes. <clears throat> Before arriving in this age, I was determined that it would be a journey to a world very different from my previous adventures, and it was. The sky here is dark and gray and incessantly displays flashes of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man with a long beard uh, that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through some, through very many things in this strange world, and I've learned many things from him. He's told me an interesting story of this world's history. Years ago, he told me there was a beautiful city that rose up out of the water. It housed many people inside its walls, and the people had everything they wished for. The city was surrounded by three high hills which rose higher than the city. On the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. The people of the city had constructed the post expecting visitors to arrive from the east. The people had no means of traveling on the water, which forced them to merely wait for a friend or foe. As time passed, friendly visitors brought rumors of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the usually sunny sky became as dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The lookout posts' attempt at pe attempts at peace were turned away, and the sentries there were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to wreak havoc on the city, apparently destroying everyone and everything. After the foundations of the city were destroyed, the city sunk deep into the ocean, and only the lookout post remained. The black ships sailed away. The man continued to say that eight people had hidden and managed to survive through the attack. In the nine years... Where was I? In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. He also said that it was rumored that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to finish the destruction they had started so long ago. I've decided, since hearing the man's story, it would be admirable to save the civilization and stop this enemy's plan of destruction. I'm excited about the adventure that awaits me, and an idea has sparked in my mind to, prove, or to provide the needed defense for these people. I met the remaining survivors today, and I've begun work on a plan for protection. So that looks like the tower station that I was spinning around. Uh, I've returned with my two sons. They have, as of yet, traveled rarely with me, and they are understandably excited to be here. They've grown considerably since Everdunes, and it is already obvious to me that they will be great help this time, instead of the nuisance they've been in the past. All three of us, along with four of the healthier survivors, began construction today. We're building upon the old city's ruins, which will provide a perfect foundation for our fortress. My sons have been spending much of their spare time on the South Island, where most of my materials are stored. I'm very pleased with their intelligence, and their creativity is refreshing to see, as they work on some small projects of their own. It's been over four months now, and construction is going well. My sons love the world, except for its gray sky. They detest the gray sky, and tell me many times they wish the sky were like the sky in mist. The old man I first talked to tells me that the enemy is due in four months. I feel we will be ready when the time comes. The man reminds me of Emmett in many ways, and I often wonder how Emmett and his people are doing. It's been six months of work, 
and we have finally finished the fortress. It rests between the three hills which are now only islands due to a rising water level that the people experienced after the attack. Instead, the fortress I have designed inside the fortress I have designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography. I began experimenting with on my visits uh, to Aspermere. Aspermere. It will begin I'm sorry, it will be working in a couple of days after I compensate for some small miscalculations. This holographic device will enable the survivors to learn to use the fortress. The enemy is due to come soon, and I trust the fortress will provide sufficient protection for all of us. Okay, yeah, this is the map. The black ships have come. Their attack was substantial. Their weapons have been stopped, and it appears they have turned away in defeat. I couldn't help but smile as I watched the boats leave. Last night we had a small celebration and the old survivors danced their, old, their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The old man told them that the storms would never end until the enemy was destroyed. I assured my sons that the blue sky was not worth the risk of death, and they seemed to hear me. I've had a healthy adventure and begun work on a new book. Once again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe. But first, I will have extended I will have an extended time with Catherine, whom I miss very much. I must also return to the people of the tide. I believe in my travels I have found a substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments that they have long endured. I hope to return to the mechanical age one day and find the population growing and my fortress still strong. Though the sky may always be black, I am confident the people here feel a heavier darkness has been lifted from their shoulders. The tide. So this is the mechanical age. I thought that green one was for sure going to be one. So there's one, two, three, four, five books. And I've read, I believe, all of them. Everdunes, Channelwood, uh, The Stone Ship Age, and The Mechanical Age. Uh, and the... That weird... Uh, like codex book okay let's go check out this uh, this new book that we got when did I start playing this one o'clock I think yeah right at one
So this is the rocks. Here's that fun little lighthouse. Let's go inside, I guess. I can't go inside. It's sunk. The fuck was that spinner? Three little lights. Here's the lighthouse. Broken. Key. On a chain. And a lock high above. I have to break this chain somehow. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta be done soon. I got dinner plans. At five, I think, right? Five, okay. Sure. Some sort of box here. More underground that I can't enter. Okay. So this is much, much later then, right? This looks like the lighthouse that used to be in great condition has had to be sort of smashed in to enter. But it also looks like the map that he drew with the boards connecting to it, so I'm not sure. If this is in the future or not.
don't know what that's doing. <laughs> this insignia is on the um on the library. It's awfully slow to pan. Hmm. Big spike there on the 180. Top of the lighthouse, like 135. Oh, it's like dead on 135. That's the other ship. Hmm. I have such a very tiny, limited amount of information here. Can't look up. How do I get this damn key? Dude, I don't know. It was like, oh my God, Jesus Christ. I 
I got 180, 135, 115. Can I see that little umbrella shit from here? I doubt it. No. Mm hmm. Hmm. I might be stumped once more. I gotta get going anyway. I got I got dinner plans, so um, I'm gonna skedaddle. See you later. I should save again. Save. Okay. Goodbye.